Hi and welcome back to the Jed Experience. This is the Jed Experience with me, Jed. Today we are at Universal Studios Hollywood as they have recently rolled out all of their Halloween decorations and decor for Halloween Horror Nights. So we're gonna go in, check out, see what they have. It starts Thursday, so they've already got the decorations out. So uh, let's, let's go in for this experience and see what they've got. So it looks like the shirts are coming in what uh, new generations probably don't realize. It's a VHS looking box and it's the exact size of a VHS. Declan has no idea what this is. <laughs> and on the back, fear to the max. That's cool, huh, bud? Where are we going? Killer clowns. Oh, killer clowns, yeah. And Slimer. Look, Frankenstein. Frankenstein. Look, it's from Creep Show. Also from Creep Show, and also from Creep Show. Actually, that's from House of a Thousand Corpses. Oh, look at this guy. More killer clowns. <laughs> Cool backpack. That's a cool shirt. Ghostbusters. It's a very cool mug. More VHSs. Universal Studios Hollywood wishes you a happy Halloween. <laughs> Says we are in the process of dressing our park for Universal Halloween Horror Nights 2019. Zombies. And here's the big entrance for Holidays in Hell and Original Maze. And then the maze entrance for the Walking Dead attraction, which is always open year round. And then once you get through the line for Holidays in Hell, here's the actual entrance for it. It's very cool. Almost looks like a stage. Oh yeah, this will yeah, this will be a scare zone. Lots of skeletons everywhere. So we're walking up to the entrance to the studio tour right now, and apparently it's the entrance for us and Curse of Pandora's Box. Unfortunately though, this year for Horror Nights, kind of a staple that's been for, I don't know, the last several years, is there will actually be no terror tram, where you get on the tram, ride out a little bit, and then walk through the rest of the kind of back lot sets um, in order to see some attraction out there and it, it varies one year it was clowns one year it was the Titans of Terror hosted by Chucky uh, but I guess that's not gonna happen this year <laughs> So George is our studio tour intern, unpaid of course. He's doing a little sweep of the water. Does anyone else hear ominous music? Where's that coming from? Oh, there's George! Hey George! Buddy, why don't you give a nice big wave to the people on the trail? George? Can you stop yelling at me? I don't understand you. Oh, oh no. Oh, there's another shark in the water. Okay. <laughs> you know what? It's okay, folks. We are going to move our tram onto this dock right behind these flammable gasoline tanks. We should be okay here. 
Alright, looks like the sharks grabbed onto that yellow barrel. We put shark bait in there. Oh boy. Oh, looks like a gas line. It's okay, I read somewhere that sharks are afraid of fire, so not to worry. That shark is coming nowhere near us. No, we didn't see anything, Norman. Norman, no. Don't put that away. Come on. Okay. Get the guy in car four that's been on his boat the entire time. Now we're down on the lower lot, and here's May's entrance for Stranger Things for seasons two and three. Last year it was for season one. And then right next to Transformers is the May's entrance for Killer Clowns from Outer Space. And then down in the uh, lower back lot is Creep Show, Ghostbusters, which we saw on the tram tour actually, uh, and then Universal Monsters, Frankenstein meets the Wolfman, and then again a sign for Killer Clowns. And then once Halloween time comes up, this all opens up so people can walk down and you go through the toxic tunnel scare zone to get to the uh, the mazes on the lower back lot. So here's something that's right next to the studio commissary in the lower lot near Jurassic Park, or Jurassic World rather, uh, Star Court Mall, obviously a nod to Stranger Things. It's probably gonna be like a food court or a food, because then here's the menu for it. I don't know if it's focusing. Something, they're gonna have a demo dog. So we might check that out. Maybe not a whole lot that, I, that we can eat there, but still gonna be cool either way. The ice cream shop, which I think it, maybe it's normally Ben and Jerry's, is Scoops Ahoy. Some of the things they have there, I don't know that it's showing up, but you can get Eleven's Waffle Sunday and Mind Flayer's Milkshake. A limited time at Scoops Ahoy Ice Cream Parlor. Well, that was our trip today to Universal Studios. Unfortunately, they have a very strict no cameras on rides policy, so we weren't able to get a lot of that stuff, but uh, we got some good footage from the studio tour, uh, as well as this was our preview for Halloween Horror Nights. Uh, opens again in just a few days. We'll be coming back Sunday uh, to go through the mazes and try and get as much footage of that as we can. Hopefully we can get some, some good walkthroughs uh, get some good scares out of it. If you haven't, make sure to like the video, uh, give us a thumbs up. You can subscribe down below and ring the bell so you can get notifications every time we post a new video and join us on our next experience.